For centuries, people have looked at the stars and thought that the universe was limited to our own Milky Way galaxy. Everything beyond it was a complete mystery. But over a century ago, astronomers started looking further into space without realizing they were starting one of the most important periods in human history. Their initial explorations led to some pretty significant discoveries that changed how we view the universe forever. Initially, what these astronomers observed appeared unremarkable, distant, hazy smudges of light, which they incorrectly identified as nebulae or clouds of gas and dust. But as technology improved and observations became more accurate, something amazing happened. It turned out that those smudges weren't nebulae at all. They were entire galaxies, each one as vast and complex as our own Milky Way, full of stars, planets, and maybe even life. It became clear that the universe was much bigger and more complex than anyone had thought. One of the first people to explore the universe was Edwin Hubble. His observations in the 1920s led to a game-changing discovery. The galaxies weren't just standing still. They were moving and not just randomly drifting through space. Hubble discovered that the further away a galaxy is from Earth, the faster it is moving away from us. This was a pretty astonishing realization. This meant that the universe was actually getting bigger with each passing moment. This proved that the idea that the universe was static and unchanging was wrong. It led to one of the most important concepts in modern science, the expanding universe. But what exactly was expanding? It wasn't just the galaxies moving apart. It was as if the very fabric of space itself was stretching. Space was stretching, carrying galaxies along with it a bit like dots on the surface of an inflating balloon. This led scientists to a big conclusion. The universe must have had a beginning, a moment when everything was compressed into a single, unimaginably dense point. This idea later led to what we now know as the Big Bang Theory. Even though these ideas were really new and exciting, they also made people think about things in a different way. If the universe was expanding, what was it expanding into? And if there was a beginning, what happened before that moment? These questions became even more important as scientists like Albert Einstein started to think about how the universe works. Einstein's theory of general relativity, which he came up with in the early 20th century, completely changed how we think about gravity, space, and time. Einstein suggested that space itself could bend, curve, and warp in response to the presence of mass and energy, rather than thinking of space as a flat, unchanging stage upon which events unfold. This idea not only explained how gravity worked, but also predicted phenomena that seemed almost impossible, such as the existence of black holes and gravitational waves. One of Einstein's predictions, though, still has scientists scratching their heads. The idea that we'll never be able to see the absolute beginning of the universe. Einstein said that no matter how advanced our telescopes become, we may never be able to observe the exact moment of creation. This is because the early universe was so hot and dense that light couldn't escape. For the first few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang, the universe was a seething, opaque plasma in which photons, the particles of light, were trapped, unable to travel freely. It was only after the universe cooled and atoms began to form that light was able to break free and travel across space. The light from this era is what we now observe as the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is a faint afterglow of the Big Bang. However, this radiation only gives us a picture of the universe hundreds of thousands of years after it was born, not at the moment of creation. Einstein was right when he said that the very beginning of the universe is hidden from us. He also predicted that as the universe continues to expand, the earliest moments will be pushed farther and farther away making them increasingly difficult, if not impossible, to observe. It's as though the origin of the universe is receding into the distance, like a ship disappearing over the horizon of a curved Earth. Despite these limitations, we've made great strides in technology that have allowed us to look deeper into space, and thus further back in time, than ever before. At the forefront of this exploration is the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, which is the most powerful space telescope ever built. The JWST, which was launched in 2021, has given us an incredible view of the universe as it existed billions of years ago, when it was still in its infancy. Even with all its amazing capabilities, the JWST has recently uncovered something that has left scientists scratching their heads. 
While looking at faraway galaxies, the telescope spotted something totally unexpected, a huge mysterious gap in the early universe. This void, which is a huge region that seems to be completely devoid of stars, galaxies, or any visible matter, has sparked a lot of debate within the scientific community. Could this void be a remnant of the universe's earliest days? Maybe even a clue to what came before stars and galaxies formed? Or is it something else entirely? It could even challenge our understanding of cosmology. It's not completely unusual to find regions of space with few or no galaxies. It's worth noting that voids are actually a pretty well-known feature of the modern universe. These vast, empty regions are scattered throughout the cosmos, surrounded by clusters of galaxies that form what scientists call the cosmic web. However, voids typically appear in the mature universe, billions of years after the Big Bang. So discovering one in the early universe, a time when everything was thought to be much more uniform, is highly unexpected. The latest thinking in cosmology is that the early universe should have been a kind of homogeneous soup of matter and energy. It seems like it would be really tough to find a void in a universe that's still so young. Some scientists have suggested that this void could be a leftover from the Dark Ages. This is a period shortly after the Big Bang when the universe was still shrouded in darkness before the first stars had ignited. If this is true, the void could give us a rare insight into an era of the universe that we've never observed before. Some people think that if this void is found, it could show that we don't really understand the universe as well as we thought. Could it be that the universe didn't evolve the way we thought it did? Could there be unknown forces or phenomena at work in the cosmos that we don't yet fully understand? Some more out there ideas even go as far as to suggest even stranger possibilities. Some physicists have suggested that voids like this one could be the result of interactions between different universes in a multiverse. This idea is that our universe is just one of many, each with its own set of physical laws. Sometimes these universes could collide or interact, creating unusual structures like cosmic voids. It's a pretty out there concept, but some scientists are seriously considering it as we continue to push the boundaries of our understanding. Some people even think this void might be evidence of an advanced extraterrestrial civilization. Some scientists have wondered whether highly advanced civilizations, far beyond anything we can currently imagine, might be able to manipulate entire galaxies, possibly even draining them of energy. While this idea might seem a bit far-fetched, it's not completely outside the realm of scientific speculation. After all, we've thought about the possibility of advanced civilizations affecting their environment on a cosmic scale. If such civilizations do exist, it's possible that we're seeing their handiwork, perhaps in the form of this enormous, mysterious void. But what does this discovery mean for Einstein's prediction? In a way, it backs up his idea that the universe's earliest moments will always be out of our reach. Even as we keep building more powerful telescopes and exploring deeper into space, the most basic questions about how the universe began may still remain unanswered. But this same discovery also challenges our assumptions and opens up new questions. Instead of finding a neat, orderly picture of the early universe, we're confronted with an enigma that may force us to rethink our most basic ideas about how the cosmos works. It's possible that this gap is just one piece of a much larger puzzle, one that we're only just starting to understand. It could be a sign that we need to update our models of cosmology or it could be evidence of something completely new, something we haven't even thought of yet. At the heart of this mystery is a deeper question. What are the basic building blocks of the universe? For decades, physicists have been trying to find the answer to this question. We know that around 5% of the universe is made up of what we call normal matter, which is the stuff that forms stars, planets, and galaxies. The rest is made up of dark matter and dark energy, two mysterious components that we don't fully understand yet. It might be that this void is connected to these forces somehow. That dark matter or dark energy is playing a role in shaping the universe in ways we can't yet understand. As we learn more and more about the universe, it's becoming clearer that there's still a lot to discover. Each new discovery seems to make the mystery even more intriguing rather than providing clear answers. The James Webb Space Telescope may have opened a new chapter in our exploration of the cosmos, but it's also revealed just how much we still don't know. We may never be able to observe the absolute beginning of the universe, 
But that doesn't mean we can't gain some profound insights about its nature. Einstein wasn't just pointing out the limitations of technology, he was also acknowledging the limits of human understanding. The universe is huge, intricate, and full of surprises. And as we keep on exploring its furthest reaches, one thing is for sure. There's still a long way to go before we fully understand the cosmos. This void might just be the start. Who knows what other secrets are waiting to be uncovered? We're living in an age of exploration, and every new discovery brings us one step closer to unraveling the biggest mystery of all, how the universe came to be and what it's made of.